and then round, undercut, some undercutting. I mean, I'll, I'll spend more time on it and then I'll show you what it should look like when it's done. But you want to do quite a bit of undercutting, rounding off, because it kind of is supposed to go this way. This one does. And then here's what I want to do here with this one is bring this out, this, bringing this down in here like it's coming out. So you're going to be doing a lot of that. And I like that undercutting <sighs> brings that out. There, you see that shadowing there? That's what's going to be a lot of, of that. Let's undercut here. Leaning up. Let's, let's get some shadowing in there. See how that is? Now there's going to be a lot of that in there, and I don't know, I didn't want to spend too much time doing the whole hair. <sighs> just want to bring this in. Depends on how much uh, work you want to do on it too. Undercutting that undercutting and adding that shadow does add a lot of let's say value to it. So that's what I'm gonna do a lot of all the way around. It's gonna come out. I know you're gonna come out here and here, just like you did here. So it's all over the place. That's what gives you that that, sh that um that look of whoops. Of curl and disorganization, chaos of the hair. <sighs> Undercut a bit. That's just going to pop out. <sighs> See, and then you do all some like going in this direction here, like this. So it's like it's popping out, rounding it as much as you want. <sighs> so that's going to go all the way around. Now the top here, you can be careful. This can come almost straight down, almost a little curl. You don't have to do too much of that there, but all the way around. Curling here and there. Um, then you can take uh, a smaller V. Where's this? Where's my smaller V? You know, and create a lot of this. Kind of a thing. Depends on how much detail you want to put in it. Do you want to? Get some knife marks in there like we did with the finger. Depends on how much detail you want to put in it. Because, uh, see right now when you look at it, see how flat that is. I want to kind of get rid of that. I want things to be more up and down. You know, so this is coming down. And uh, this is going up and that's going down and it's scooping right there. And then it goes this way, but it goes this way. 
So you want the chaos. Now you can, if you want, you can have hair coming straight down, sort of the Egyptian look, or whatever you want to do, or short hair, just have hair coming here. Now, if you wanted to ever have the hair come short or a ponytail, then what's going to happen, yeah, you're still going to have the cloak is going to come up and cover the back, and so is the shirt. So, so when you come up here between, you just simply, the puffs are going to go around a little bit more. And then you're going to have this cloak. Now the boots, boots is just a matter of shaping. Um, what What is it do I, that I want? I think I want to, I do want it to come to a toe. I mean the toe come down, you know, instead of it being big boots. And here's the thing that I wanted to show you. Here is these, this that I showed you. Now here's the top and bottom view of the same same character. And if you were to look here, like I said, I'll, if you were to look here, um, like I said, I'll have this online. You can see how small the feet are. So you got quite a bit. You can make a big boots, tiny boots. You can. I think they're still much bigger than what I want. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put this down right now. I'm going to do the uh, broom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, I'm going to go clean it up perfectly, and then show you exactly what I did. But from here, I think whatever I do from here on, you know, it's just easy to, to adjust. But for the broom, first things first, I would like to take this, I uh, showed you this, just simply take a quarter, this, I don't need, you don't need a pattern for this, I use a, this is a quarter inch stick. The hole I use is less than a quarter inch, um, and this is like about three quarters, yeah, three quarters, one, two, three quarters of a stick. But I, what I want to do is I want to, I wanted to clean this up a little bit. I'll clean this up probably a little later. But the reason why I want this clean it, I want this to look like it's my carving, like it's my, you know, it's not a dowel, it's a, it's a real stick, you know, that I, picked up and carved and you know it's not like some pre-made that's why I like to any around a little bit if you want to after you're done but the whole idea is I want to get it to fit now it's going to be a while I think it's going to be a, and be careful when you're trying to shove it in there you don't want to break any fingers but like I said this is just a um, this is not a pattern. I think the broom is going to come up to about here. See, I'm going to, here's what happens. It's made out of uh, straw, right? Put some straw together. And then from here, and then they, they, they bind the straw, and then it comes out in the back, so I want something like this. Very simple, nothing to it. I'll get it started. Uh, what you can do, this is what I like to do. I'm just drawing this right now. But what I like to do in a case like this, since it's going to be relatively round, we are just going to take a square peg and make it into a round peg. Make sure we got the right end there. Like I said, and this is a good thing to do like exercises when you're going to do something round, is you keep the knife going in the right, the straight direction, but you move the carving. Somebody said, a good whittler will always have three chips in the air at the same time. I wonder if I can do that. <laughs> okay, we wanted this is gonna be the this is gonna be I mean it does not have to be really all that accurate either. Just take a pencil, go around. If you're off by a little bit, that's who cares. So I want to take
you can go in pretty deep, but you want to be careful not to get to that hole. Now this is something you don't want to get to, get to the hole. Now this you want to spray out. You want to flange out. And of course we want to make it imperfect too, so... Well, and you want to get the saw marks off too. Now we want to cone out. Now I like to start with a stick, a long stick like this, because you got you can handle it. Whereas if you got a little thing like this, it's a little difficult holding on to it like this. On the other hand, I'm a guy who got a lot of has a lot of um, extra wood or scrap wood. I prefer to use a scrap wood too, but I would have used that. But I just wanted to show this, but. You want it to come to about here. And I could probably have used the saw too when I'm done, but but I just want to make sure that I remember where to stop. Okay, it's going to come out and then come in sharp. that. Now this would be a good time to get my chisel, my V-tool. I'm going to cut in. What I like to do is kind of generally rough it out and then, then start doing these little details. And I'm going to come in the second row. I'm getting pretty close there. Better watch it. Getting pretty close to that hole there. All right, now the rest. I get just one little more here. Because what I want to do is at least, well, I still have it in in a stick like this. This is start the uh, chiseling process here. You see, it's kind of hard to see how I chisel with my hand in the way there. I hate. I don't want to do it. Yeah, how about this? that a little better because that's what I'm doing is just that right there it depends on how much de definition you want to put in that's the same with the this part of the broom again how much de definition do you want to put in do you want to use your knife do I want to put it in front of the camera so you can see Bit. Make it as imperfect as possible. Well, it does kind of go in this direction, anyways. Okay, yeah, there we go. Tilt away. You want some deep spots. And then what I want to do is this. I 
Make this seem perfect. Or you could take the V. Huh. I was afraid of that. I think we're still okay. And then I want to make sure each one is different from the other. Oops. Make sure that I'm in the camera. That, that requires some more detail as far as separating between the two. I don't know if you want to, how much detailing you want to put in a smaller V. And then let's, let's, let's separate it. This is where I want to be careful. This is where we'll get in there. And begin a little. I wonder if I can break it one more. I think I can break it. There I go. <sighs> Depends on how sharp you want this. Get my V. Depends on what kind of little accessories you want with her. I did do a witch with a wand in her hand. You can have a wand in your her hand or you know, or... <sighs> and there's our broom. Like I said, I'll trim it down. She's holding her broom right there. Well, there she is. Got it all cleaned up, rounded off the face a little bit, put the belly button in, I used my, the, my pointer to push that in, narrowed the feet a little bit, and then what I did was, um, it was that I brought the cloak out a little bit, sort of at an angle, so it would be easier to get in, in there. There's the hair. And then here's the broom. Broom's all done. Did kind of cut it down. So I, I like to, like I said, I like to cut it down so, so it looks like I carved it instead of it just being a store-bought dowel. Cleaned it up a bit. And it should, my favorite word, fit right in there. Uh oh, it should, did before, there I go, there she is, gonna even it out a little bit there, and we're done.